that electric current is defined as as the charge passing a point per unit time. You should know that it is also the rate of flow of electric charge. The formula is I is equal to Q over T, where you know that it I is the current in amperes. Q is the charge in Coulomb. And T is the time in seconds. SI unit for current is Amperes, capital A. You should know that at one ampere is equal to one coulomb per second. One ampere is equal to one coulomb per second. If we talk about conduction of free electrons in metals, what happens is that something like this. We have the positive charge here, like this. And we have electrons which are roaming all around. Okay. Okay, they are, these are free electrons. So in metals, the free electrons conduct electricity and these electrons are charge carriers and are free to move. Then we have DC current. Direct current kya hota hai? Direct current mein ye electrons अगर है हमारे पास तो ये इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जाएंगे इस तरफ और करंट की डायरेक्शन क्या होगी लाइक दिस दिस आई इज द कन्वेंशनल करंट एंड दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एज यू कैन सी दीस आर द मूवमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द वायर यू शुड नो बाय ऑल मींस दैट इन डायरेक्ट करंट द करंट फ्लोस in one direction only. So if we have a battery here, what's going to happen is that we have resistors. Let's say this is a resistor. What's going to happen is that the current is going to go like this, like this, and the electrons are going to move like this. In the opposite direction. The direction of conventional current is taken as the flow of positive charge and its direction is always opposite to the flow of electrons. Alternating current. Alternating current mein kya hota hai? we have here the symbol for AC is like this. This is the symbol for the AC voltage. So, is me kya hota? We have something like this. So, AC power supply ye hai. This is AC power supply that we have. What's going to happen is that the electrons are going to move like this back and forth. The electrons are oscillating left to right, left to right. So, current bhi AC may oscillate. Karta. This is AC power supply. And AC circuits and AC circuits, what happens is current changes direction every second. 
right? And also in AC circuits, the electrons oscillates. You should also know that the, the conventional current is from positive to negative terminal of the battery and electron flow is, is from negative to positive. Remember this. Terminal, right? How do we do we measure electric current? We use an ammeter to measure electric current. Okay? The symbol for the ammeter is like this. This is the symbol for the ammeter, as you can see here. So symbol for ammeter is this. You should know that the ammeter can be both analog and digital. So we have this as the, this is the analog ammeter, as you can see, it's been numbers, the other two, three, four, or you have a milliampere call. You should also know that ammeters have different ranges. For example, if you have a battery here and you have an ammeter here and you have a bulb here, for example, and let's say that the current that is passing through this is six ampere, right? And we have different options, A, B, C, and D. A is from zero to five ampere. B is from zero to 10 ampere. C is zero to 100 ampere. We see that 100 ampere is a lot, but let me give it a milli ampere. Okay, I will also give it milliampere kar deta hu milliampere kar deta hu this is also 6 milliamperes right and you have 0 to 50 milliampere to kaun sa wala hum use karenge agar agar yahan se mere paas 7 milliampere ja raha hai current we use b then we have the electromotive force And what is electromotive force? Electromotive force is different from potential difference. It's not a force, by the way. It is not a force. So what is electromotive force? We have a battery here, like this. And this is the source of EMF that we have. EMF sources are Cells, battery, we have a generator, we have power supplies. So all of these are EMF sources. EMF sources are the same as the car's petrol. If the petrol is running, then the EMF source is running. It provides energy. Provide karti hai. For example, we have here something like this. This is the EMF source. The current is I, and it's going to flow in the circuit. Right. So I'm going to write here that electromotive force is measured by the energy dissipated by the source. Energy dissipated by the source in driving a unit charge around a complete circuit. अच्छा होता क्या है बेसिकली कि ये आपके पास बैटरी है और ये आपके पास एमीटर है और ये आपके पास बल्ब है यहाँ पे और यहाँ पे हमारे पास वोल्टमीटर है सो बेसिकली यू शुड नो दैट इट ईएमएफ इज इलेक्ट्रिकल वर्क डन By the source 
in driving a unit charge. This is the source. And voltmeter, if you have EMF source across, then you will get EMF. Okay? EMF is the electrical work done by the source in driving uh, unit charge around a complete circuit. You should also know that that energy is converted from non-electrical to electrical forms. Non-electrical Q care on because it's chemical energy here, battery can So energy is converted from non-electrical to electrical forms. When unit charge moves around a complete circuit. Is that clear? Ek baat aapko yaad rakhni hai that in EMF Work is done on the charges by the source. In EMF, work is done on the charges by the source. Source can be right? So EMF can be written as work done over charge. So we have here the work done as uh, in joules, charge is in coulombs, and the SI unit for EMF is, is volt. So remember that that one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb. So example, we have here a battery, and we have here a resistor, and we have here another resistor here, as you can see, and this is the ammeter, which is measuring the current. Always remember that if you attach a voltmeter in parallel with the EMF, that is going to give you, that is going to give you what? That is going to give you the EMF. So a voltmeter attached in parallel with the cell gives the EMF. If we have a 5 volt battery here, and another 5 volt battery here, then this series will add in the series. This would be 10 volt. But if I have a 5 volt battery here, for example, like this, and here is a 3 volt that will be negative, because you have given a correction. So what is the answer? 2 volts. 5 minus 3. If you have this way, for example, this is 1, then this is 1, then this is 1, Okay, ye ek hai. Then you have two, three, four, five, or ye six laga over. Sub equal. Give it two volt, two, 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 and this will be minus two. So the answer would be two plus two is four, six, eight, ten, ten minus two is so ye eight volt. Kabarega. Is there a guy give up past paper or question? I have. And for example, we have here, which is 5 volt, and we have 8 volt here. This would be 13 volts. You should know that, that if the 
EMF sources are attached in series. And one of the cells malfunctions. The entire circuit breaks. But if one cell is broken, like for example, I have a 2 volt, ki, 2 volt ka cell laga hua hai, phir ek aur 2 volt ka, phir ek aur 2 volt ka, aur yaha pe bulb laga hua hai, like this, and we have something like this, this is 2, this is 2, this is also 2, achha, ek kharaab ho jata hai, darmiyan mein se ek kharaab ho jata hai, this one, and what's gonna happen is, uh, the circuit will not work, this bulb will not light up, Moving on, we have several sources arranged in parallel. You should know that that EMF of identical sources arranged in parallel is equal to the EMF of the sources. This means that I have a bulb here, a bulb here, और यहां पे एक और बैटरी लगी हुई है और यहां पे एक और बैटरी लगी हुई है और यहां से इस तरह से करंट जा रहा है और ये वोल्ट मीटर लगा हुआ है यहां पे ठीक है ये ये वोल्ट मीटर अटैच्ड है फॉर एग्जांपल ये वोल्टेज मेजर करेगा आगे पूरा सर्किट है खैर सर्किट इज देयर द एंटायर सर्किट इज देयर सो व्हाट्स गोना हैपन इज दैट इफ दिस इज पॉइंट ए एंड दिस इज पॉइंट बी all of these cells, all of these cells would have the same voltage. This is 12 volt. This is also 12 volt. This is also 12 volt. In sub key voltage, same rahe. Or iske kuch advantages hai. Okay, I'm going to talk about them, right? There are certain advantages of this configuration. Number one is if one of the sources malfunctions, the others will keep working. If one is bad, 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 one is bad. Number two, it will last longer. It will last longer. It will last longer. And number three is that there is lower Total internal resistance of the battery. Hence, there will be more current. Okay. 